SeqMan Pro is DNA Star's application for assembling and analyzing sequencing data. SeqMan Pro can be used to analyze next-gen assemblies from SeqMan Engine, but in this video, I'm going to focus on traditional Sanger sequence assembly and analysis using SeqMan Pro. When you first launch SeqMan Pro, you'll see the unassembled sequences window. Here, you can click Add Sequences to add your read files and your reference sequence if you have one. For this example, I'm going to load these 14 ABI files from the demo SeqMan folder, which is installed with LaserGene. Once these files are loaded and selected, I'm going to select Janus from the vector drop-down menu. If I click the Options button, I can see that SeqMan is going to trim sequence ends and scan for vector. If I click Scan later, the quality and vector trimming will happen during the assembly process. I'm going to click Scan All so we can see the trimming results. After trimming is completed, you can see that there's a check mark next to the word Janus, meaning that that vector was found in each of my sequences. You can also get an idea of how much sequence was trimmed by looking at the coordinates in the limits column. Now I'm going to assemble my sequences simply by clicking the Assemble button. And here you can see SeqMan Pro has created a single contig with all 14 sequences. In cases where not all sequences are assembled, you may want to go to Project, Parameters, and adjust the assembling options to be less stringent. To see the results of the assembly, I'll double click the contig to open the alignment view. Here you can see all of the reads that were assembled into the contig. You can also drag these arrows at the sequence ends to restore the trim portions of the reads. To see the original trace data for the reads, click the arrow to the left of the sample name. As a shortcut, you can hold down the Alt or Option key while clicking down the arrow to show trace data for all of the reads. SeqMan Pro also assigns quality scores to each base in a read to help with consensus calling. You can view these quality scores by clicking the Q button in the toolbar. After viewing trace data and quality scores, you may wish to edit your consensus. For example, if I want to remove this gap, I simply click in the consensus area and hit the backspace key. Use the strategy view to see a graphical representation of coverage along the assembly. The histogram in this view is color coded based on depth of assembly and sequence directionality. From the strategy view, you can quickly jump to areas of high or low coverage by double clicking on a region. You may wish to do more sequencing in areas of low coverage. You can use SeqMan Pro's primer walking feature to design primers that walk into areas of low coverage or gaps. We have another video on our website that shows this workflow in detail. You can also annotate your contig by selecting a region and creating a new consensus feature. You can also select your entire contig and blast it, and then collect features from the blast results to copy those annotations to your consensus. After assembly in SeqMan Pro, you can send your consensus to another LaserGene application by using the send consensus to command. For example, we can send our consensus to GeneQuest to perform gene discovery or to SeqBuilder to perform further annotation and sequence editing. If you have further questions about assembling or analyzing Sanger sequencing data in SeqMan Pro or any other questions about our software, please visit our website, dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.